Preston Physics, Grade 11, Waves and Sound, Note 8, Intensity of Sound. When we're talking about the intensity of sound, we're talking about the power per unit area. And the units for that would be then watts per meter squared if we're using standard units. You don't really hear this ever though when we're talking about sound intensity. What you actually hear is what we call a bell. So we have watts per meter squared are bells, but the common measurement that we use in physics is actually a decibel. So 10 decibels is equal to one bell, and that's what we normally use. Now the bell scale is a logarithmic scale. What this means is that it goes up 10 times every time we go up one bell. Now be careful because a lot of the times we'll be dealing in decibels, so it's a little bit confusing. So in our example, we have 40 decibels, 50 decibels, 60 decibels, and 70 decibels. Going from 40 decibels to 50 decibels, it's 10 times stronger. Going from 40 decibels to 60 decibels, it's 100 times stronger. Going from 40 to 70, it's 1,000 times stronger. So you have to be careful that you're going up by the right number. Now, some common intensities that we hear every day are listed below with the amount of decibels that each of them have and the power per unit area that we have associated with. While you're looking at these common examples of intensities that we hear every day, note that the power of the source and the distance of the source also have a very big impact on the intensity of sound coming from that source. We can also look at the medium that the sound's traveling in. Something like water is going to have less intense sound in it because it's harder for the sound to travel through that medium. The questions associated with this note are 18 and 19 from your yellow duotang.